Welcome back guys and today we got new nice hash miner update version 2024 and this is the new version after one and a half month so we were waiting for new version for a long time and let's see what's going on so this new version of nice hash miner has few exciting features and you can find all of this info in the link down in the description section so the first thing they did is they added Ripnet heavy algorithm and this algorithm is for your CPU mining and uh, you can mine Sumo coin, Heaven coin or a Loki coin and we are going to take a look at the profitability a little bit later on. The next algorithm is Lira 2Z algorithm and it allows you to mine Z coin or Gini coin and Lira 2Z algorithm is for your GPU and it is actually an amazing algorithm because it uses only 50% of the electricity that something like Lira 2 Revision 2 would use. So it is great if you have high electricity cost and if because of the electricity you are not making a lot of profit. Lira 2, uh, Lira 2Z will allow you to make higher profit just because of the lower electricity cost but it will also make you a little bit less in Satoshi's and you are going to see how much less. So the next thing they did is updated excavator to version 1.54 and this is the program that you actually use when you click here you can see this screen this is actually the excavator miner. So XMR stack updated to version 243 and this is for your CPU mining on almost any CPU, almost every CPU supports it. So let's take a look at profitability. So when you open Niceish Miner, nothing is actually new over here uh, unless you go on harder details and click on your CPU or on your GPU. On your CPU you can see that Triplanet V7 is giving me 277,000 uh, uh, hashes per second and this is on Ryzen 1700 uh, CPU. This is 8 core 16 thread CPU and it is making 4704 satoshis per day. So before this update it was actually giving me 250 kilo hashes per second and now you can see that it increased 10% in profitability. But profitability is so low that it is not actually worth mining because I spent more in electricity than I would make mining. But it's nice to see that they actually improved performance by 10% on this Kryptonite V7 algorithm. And this new Kryptonite Heavy algorithm is giving me 125 kilo hashes and it is making 4032 satoshis per day. So it is not as profitable as Kryptonite V7 mining but it is nice to have more options for CPU mining. On my GPU, GTX 180 Ti, you don't actually have to benchmark anything, uh, everything just stays the way it is. All of the hash rates and all of the profitability is the same as it was before, except this new algorithm that is down here, and the last one on the list, Lira 2Z. And Lira 2Z is giving me 3 mega hashes on 180 Ti, and it is making me 18,751 satoshis. Now, this is quite low, but you uh, save a lot of money on the electricity cost. So if the next most profitable algorithm would be giving me like 23 or 24,000 satoshis and this one would be giving me 18,000 satoshis, it would be more profitable to mine Lira 2Z algorithm after the electricity cost than something that is maybe like 20 to 25% more profitable on a uh, satoshi site. But right now it cannot even compare, it cannot even come close to something like Lira 2 Revision 2 that is giving me 46,000 satoshis or new script that is giving me 40,000 satoshis. So those two algorithms are doing really really great and uh, Lira 2Z is just one of the algorithms that most likely is not going to be used for a long time. So uh, this is only for NVIDIA cards, you cannot use this on AMD cards and you can see this if you go over here on configure, uh, it will show you in about section this screen uh, that it is only for NVIDIA cards. So uh, you cannot use it for AMD and it might not come for legacy never actually in the future. It is more optimized just like Lira 2 Revision 2 for NVIDIA cards and AMD cards cannot compete with that. But AMD cards still have a new script and Kryptonite V7 mining which is great but we still need some more algorithms for NVIDIA. So not a lot of news but they just added a few more coins and few more algorithms and uh, profits didn't really go up overall because nothing really changed except those new algorithms. Now if you don't want to update uh, you don't have to update because especially if you don't mine with your CPU at all uh, you don't need those 10% uh, boost in performance and in profits on Kryptonite V7 algorithm and you don't really need Lira 2Z unless uh, Lira 2 Revision 2 mining and new script mining goes down for like something crazy amount like 50% in profitability 
then Lira to uh, Z will be profitable, but right now it is not profitable to mine. Uh, you can see in this live marketplace that Lira 2Z only has about 30 miners right now and you can see the profitability is 0 0.0756 bitcoins per key hashes per day. And this profitability might change in the future because the more people join this market, the more uh, price competition there will be and the higher the amount of money that they're offering for your gear hash might be but most likely it will not change by a lot so if you're watching this in the future it could be a little bit higher but not by a lot so little to z is really not so profitable Cryptonite heavy is a little bit better because you can see over here you have 722 miners right here and 549 miners on the US server. So a lot of people are joining uh, on the mining for Cryptonite heavy algorithm. I'm not sure why is that happening because Cryptonite v7 is giving better profitability. But uh, Cryptonite heavy might be better on some CPUs that I don't know of and this is why so many people are mining it right now. So let's see how many people are mining on Kryptonite V7. Uh, you can see that there is thousands and thousands of them, but this is just because you can mine it with your GPU, like Vega 64, more profitably than you can mine it with your CPU. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this new nice -ish update, and if you will actually be updating, even though there is really no need to update, you won't get any performance improvement unless you are mining with your CPU on Kryptonite V7. Thank you guys again and see you soon in another one. Bye.